Bengals Bears on CBS Cincinnati defers Chicago receives the opening kick Jim Nance Bill Sims and what are you thinking here as this season is about to begin yeah first game of the year the old phrase let the game come to you in other words don't get emotional don't go out there and try to make a play because that leads to a big mistake what that means Devin Hester will be touching that football first in all likelihood he did not have a return touchdown last year but what a magnificent career he's had in the return game. Second most in NFL history, total returns. Just one behind Deion Sanders, 19 total. That's five kick returns, a missed field goal return for a score, and 12 punts, the all-time record in that category. So Mike Nugent tees it up, and Cincinnati about to send it down the way to Devin Hester. Hester will not even have a chance to put his hands on it. And a touchback will bring it out to the 20 for Jay Cutler. Now in his fifth year in Chicago. An offense that a year ago, surprisingly, was 28 in the league. Should be quite a difference this year. Garza, the only returning starter on that offensive line with a pair of rookies on the right side, Long and Mills. And Marshall's numbers last year were just staggering. 118 catches and over 1500 yards they're actually going to come out now with two tight ends martellus bennett who they picked up in the offseason from the giants and steve Mineri, a free agent signee by way of kansas city one wide out is marshall lined up in the eye and they're going to take the handoff and throw it right across the middle and is dropped by bennett cincinnati's defense led again by mike zimmer the defensive coordinator, sixth best in the league last year. There's Atkins, who signed an extension on Monday. How about James Harrison? Stays in the division, signs with the Bengals. And Leon Hall, who had two picks the last time Cincinnati and Chicago met four years back. Here's the give. A stutter stop move by Forte, and he's got a quick gain of eight, maybe nine. Matt Forte bursting up the middle. It'll be third and one. You talked about... Cutler and how this could be a difference for him with Tressman as the coach. How about for Forte, Phil? Well, listen, I think that we saw when Mark Tressman was with the Oakland Raiders, he had great success with Rich Gannon as a quarterback and running backs. He knows how to give him the ball in opportune times and get the most out of him. Remember that incredible year Charlie Garner had when Tressman was the coordinator. In fact, that 0-2 Raiders team that went to the Super Bowl. Garner making a prediction about Forte. Maybe he'll catch 90 balls this year. He's always been a good receiver. It's third and two, and it is moving on the Bears' side. First charge timeout, Chicago. A 30-second timeout. Oh, so, flag will be nullified. Timeout oh, request. Shepherds, the Came before any movement by the offense. There's no foul on the play. That's really kind of a good break, I think, for the Bears because I thought they did jump. Matt Slauson talked about it, the, the energy. Man, snap the ball, let us hit somebody. It's one thing Trespin really implored to uh, his quarterback, no wasted plays. Well, that's a big talking point for this offense and what they're going to do today. In other words, this year, when you look at Jay Cutler, we always look at the stats of quarterbacks, but make sure you get them in the right play every time because the NFL... You don't get as many as you do in college, and you can't waste one running the play into a defense where you can't block them. It's third and two. They brought in Kyle drive, Adams. Drive, drive, drive. He's here at the bottom of the screen, a backup tight end. Lined up wide. Here's Cutler with pressure. Able to unload that, and did Jeffrey grab it? No, he did not. Al Sean Jeffrey, the second-year player from South Carolina. Again, high expectations for him this year, but it was Dunlap who was in on the quarterback. What did we see? You look at this offensive line. You said it. It's inexperienced on the right side. And the Cincinnati Bengals, they have pass rushers trying to pressure Jay Cutler in two passing situations already. Boy, that was pretty close to a catch. Now comes Hotlis, his 400th career punt. Now he jumps to the top has never had a punt returned against him for a touchdown. But look out, here comes Adam Jones. There is a flag down as Jones is inside the 30 and finally twisted down at the 27. A flag back at the 36. 
Tim, you understand why Marvin Lewis last night smiled when you said the name Adam Jones. He goes, if you kick it to him, I can't wait to see what he does with it. During the return, illegal block in the back, number 30 of the return team. 10-yard penalty, first down. Cedric Perriman with a block in the back. It was a 50-yard return off a 49-yard punt, but it'll come way back. On the side, gets the hand, Pierman is on the right. Well, that was close, just a little push. Gets it in the back. Just a little shove there on Eric Weems, and they flagged him for it. So Cincinnati comes out for its first possession of the season. At the 26, that penalty cost the Bengals 47 yards. And rolling out, Dalton. Is the target. It's the rookie out of Notre Dame, Eifer. Targeted on the first snap. Andy Dalton with a total of 47 touchdowns over the first two years of his career. And again, back to back playoff berths. Anthony Collins, this is something to watch. Whitworth out with a knee. The knee is just not ready. So he's a scratch. And there's the Faxon receivers led by Ben Jarvis Green Ellis. And of course, A.J. Green. 97 catches a year ago. Second down. And he's picked up by Tillman. Tillman inside the 20. And Tillman with a pick six touchdown, Chicago. They may bring it back. The officials are waving back at the 35. He jumped in front of A.J. Green. They may rule him down back there. veteran corner they're going to say A.J. Green the contact sends him to the ground and I think that's the right call but when you have veteran corners they read the quarterback they saw the quick fake everybody in the NFL is running these types of plays you see it in practice what a jump what a great play the ruling on the field the ruling on the field is there is an interception but the receiving team the intercepting player was down by contact. Chicago will have the ball at the 35-yard line. And Jim, I'll just say this real quick. A quarterback expects his receiver, no matter what the situation is, is to go in front of the defender. But Tillman, so aggressive, A.J. Green couldn't get in front of him that time. And there was contact, clearly, with Green on Tillman, and ball spotted at the 36. Took him to the ground. Bears defense that had the most picks of any defense in the league last year. It's an interception on the second snap. Meanwhile, the delay to get up the middle to Forte and plows ahead inside the 30. And another run of eight for Forte running behind Jordan Mills, the rookie. Yeah, you talk about this opportunistic defense last year. They end up plus 20 in the total takeaways and still miss the playoffs. 44 total takeaways and still did not end up in the postseason. Cutler's pass. Good for a first down to Jeffrey. Stepping right in front of Terrence Newman. Well, you know, you can't judge everything off of one meeting, but you thought you saw a difference with Cutler in the meeting on Friday. Yeah, well, he had a big smile on his face, and I think he really believes in Mark Tressman. And I said, you better believe they start their meetings at 6.30 in the morning. But the system reminds him of when he played under Mike Shanahan in Denver. That's when I think we all saw that he could be a great player and a lot of responsibility on Jay Cutler's shoulders out there now more than in the past. On first down, across the middle, and Forte was in the area, but a flag is thrown. Could be lineman downfield. Inside screen. Timing's not good. An eligible player downfield, number 68 of the offense. Five-yard penalty, repeat first down. Again, another one of the pickups, 68 being Matt Slauson, the former Jet guard. And there's only one returning starter. There you see him, Garza, who was named offensive co-captain by his teammates, along with Cutler, just this week. Uh, and two, Jermon Bushrod, left tackle, 74, one of the best in the NFL. 
Well, Jim, you said it. Kyle Long, Jordan Mills, rookies, ready to go. No reservations from anybody with the Bears. They believe in these two, and they should. They played well in the preseason. On first down, 15. In on Forte quickly for a loss of two. Well, Marvin Lewis's team, of course, under the microscope, featured all season long, the preseason long, the hard knocks, and they've been down that road before, and Lewis seems to have, you said it last night, this guy has complete control of what he's doing with this franchise. Is there any doubt you watch the hard knocks, you just watch him, you talk to him, he's got his finger on the whole football team, he wants his team, he, it, it comes down to this, we just got to out-hit the opponents, it's old school coaching, that's what he believes in, we'll see if they can do it. Second and 17. Snap from the 30. Butler whips it and he trapped it. And it's knocked out of the hands of Matt Forte trying to fire it in there. It's always tough. I I'll tell you, wide receiver or Matt Forte, bottom of your screen, playing like a wide receiver, which is a big thing for this Bears offense. And Jay Cutler can stick it in some tight spots. And as Jim, as you watch this, they respect the Bengals pass rush. Everything is quick, screens, get rid of the football. He has not targeted Marshall to this point. That last one broken up by Leon Hall. Third and 17. There he is, Marshall. He's got the first down. Surged ahead that final yard. Looks like he's got the first by a good yard. Watch the anticipation right down the middle. There's the linebacker. You think he's got coverage perfect, but no. Jay Cutler takes a little off the fastball and throws it soft enough where Brandon Marshall can catch it and protect himself. Again, Marshall with an off-season hip procedure. Timeout looks like it's been called by the Cincinnati Bengals. First charge timeout, Cincinnati. And the Bears will have a new set of downs at the Cincinnati 12 out of the break. Coming off of Dalton. Interception by Tillman. So the Bears have the first down at the 12. That'll go to Forte. Cuts outside. Stick on and able to gain about three as Leon Hall stayed with him. Well, we talked about Matt Forte. We talked to him on Friday, and I said to him, not all, not all NFL players are in great shape. But you, he looks it, lean, like a running back. His body has a change, and he told us why. He's been running uphill. Took a page from Walter Payton and LaDainian Tomlinson. Been working on power of going up those hills and speed by going up. Hills are not so steep, and it, it shows this preseason, or it did show how good he looks. Second and seven, up from the pocket, back to the end zone, and the ball is caught for a touchdown. Martellus Bennett. What a catch. He dropped an easy one to start the game, but that was a tremendous catch. Back in the end zone, throw it high. Does he get his feet in? Yes. Does he have possession? Boy, he took it right off the back of Iloka. And well, did he gain possession in time while he was still in the field of play? He's got he's got possession right there, Jim. Does he hold it to the ground? And the answer is enough time has elapsed, and I believe he has it there. Taking advantage of that 6'6 six, six size of Bennett played last year for the Giants and came into the league drafted by the Cowboys. That is an incredible catch. The ruling on the field is a touchdown. The Not previous replay re re review. Um, uh, around the opponent's body, but in similar fashion. Ayaloka didn't have any idea where that football was. How could he? The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. Verizon. Never be without football with NFL Mobile from Verizon. And by Bud Light. It's the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Oh, Cheppers confirms it. 
Bennett with the touchdown. Size is a talent, no doubt about it. You've got a big tight end. Throw it to the back of the end zone. That's one spot that's hard to cover. Feeder inbounds. He has possession, and the rule has changed. You don't really have to get up with the football. Enough time elapses. He still had it. Touchdown. Bobby Gold. That's the point. And the Bears, of course, led again. The NFL in takeaway points last year. They have seven more here. Off the Tillman pick, and the Cutler touchdown toss to Martellus Bennett. 7-0, Chicago. Fantasy football fans, if you want to play with the best, there's still time to get started on the most rewarded fantasy site. Sign up now, cbsports.com slash football. So it ends with a touchdown pass from Cutler, which goes back to last season. Now seven straight games with a touchdown pass. That's the longest for a Bears quarterback that streak since Jim Miller back in 02. Set up by that man, Tillman's interception. That was a play where he was coming. He was Tate back, watches it fly over his head for the touchback. Well, Jim, let's watch the touchdown. Here is Martellus Bennett. He's going to go in and make a move and then go down the middle, but there's nobody to make a move on. Vontez perfect. They got the perfect defense on to stop it. He just mistimes the jump, tips it with his finger, but doesn't knock it down and a wonderful catch by Martellus Bennett. So the third snap of the game coming up for Cincinnati. A couple of huge mistakes. The great punt return brought back because of a penalty. And then the second play, interception. Here's their first rush. Green Ellis for only a yard. And we have an update. Let's go back to James Brown in New York. Hey, Jim and Phil, take a look at Mr. Luck. That's right after 10 plays, 89 yards. Reggie Wayne in the back of the end zone. From Andrew Luck, 7-0 in Indianapolis over the Raiders. Mr. Luck just grinds it out nicely. Jim and Phil. All right, thank you, guys. That's coming off of Terrell Pryor interception. Getting the start at quarterback for the Raiders. Second and nine here for Cincinnati. And again, it's Green Ellis up the middle. And that's going to be Lance Briggs plugging that one up. After a gain of four, and we'll see how Dalton now, put in a passing situation, will come back after his last throw was picked. Got a little hurry up offense here going that way. The Bears can't substitute. Maybe get another pass rusher in there and an extra defensive back. Third down and five. Complete. That's James Anderson defending that one. James Anderson got a lot of speed at the linebacker position. Number 50, here he is against Mohamed Sanu. And that was a careful throw, and it's a good thing it was. That's a route all NFL teams on defense. They see constantly every day in practice, and well played by Anderson. Hester is back, waiting for Huber's punt. Sends it to the 21. Some step move by Hester. That's well defended. It is a flag out. Jeremy Miles back in on the tackle after the 53-yard punt. During the return, personal foul face mask by the kicking team number 40. 15 yards will be added at the end of the play. Timeout. So Sean Williams, the rookie, flag for that one. Cutler and company back out of 7 0. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by McDonald's. I'm loving it. And by the 2013 Ford F-150 with EcoBoost. Mistakes early by Cincinnati, including a couple special team penalties. First down throw is very well defended by that Cincinnati defense. Going to send him back for a loss 
of about four. That was Marshall with the catch. Well, let's go back to that last drive by Jay Cutler. A little missile throw to Jeffrey inside. Good anticipation and a nice touch throw over the top for Bennett for the touchdown. I know it's early, not going to like overemphasize it, but fundamentally more relaxed, in good position. That gives you a chance to make great throws. Second and 14, pop it in the air. On Cincinnati defensive front. Maybe the best in the league, led by Geno Atkins. It's one of them, and it's got they have so many players. That's the, the difference. There's Devin Steele, last year's number two pick well, on the defensive line. He basically was redshirted last year, and they got him ready for this year. And the Bengals, one of the few teams in the league, Jim, they're so deep in talent, they can take rookies and just say, practice hard learn what to do and you have a chance next year to play yeah effectively red shirting them for a year that's right now the bears have already converted on a third and 17 that led to a touchdown on that drive now here it's third and 14 and timeout called by cutler mid first seven nothing off a cutler touchdown throw to Bennett. coming in two weeks to cbs tony collette dylan mcdermott the 15 episode thriller hostages it premieres monday september 23rd only cbs so the bears have used two timeouts in the first seven minutes of this game and it's a third and 14. Cutler open go, 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 go. But the Bengals protect that first down line that was up at the 50 and hold them to a gain of 10. Yeah, what it does, though, it changes field position. So good play by the Bears and not forcing it. Podlish, and that is not Jones this time. It's Brandon Tate. Yeah, you got to pick your spots with uh, Pac-Man Jones. Remember, he is uh, a key po a component to the defense, too, so they can't use him all the time back there in return. So let's see what... Adam Hoglish can do here. Tate runs away from it. Bounces at the one. What a great punt. Adam Hoglish. Just sticks it in there at the one. Well, yeah, listen, sometimes it plays or, or it pays. This is grass, Jim. So if that was a field turf field, most likely that's going to hit bang up in the air and go in the end zone so this grass very receptive and a great job by the punter they bounce back out to about the three give him 51 yards on that punt that's why that last play jay cutler throws that short completion i, I know it means that it looks like nothing on tv but it's big when you talk about this this limits play calls for an offense when you're backed up you said it right away but change field position Bengals backed up and they go with Green Ellis. And down the sideline. Out to about the nine. Where Major Wright is there to chop him after a gain of six. Well, you think uh, Ben Jarvis Green Ellis is the, the inside runner. Going to get the tough yards. But what did Marvin Lewis say last year? thousand yards? And he had three plus 40 runs for him. So... Uh, that's big time when you talk about this league getting over 40 yards on, on a rushing attempt. Of course, they were the first team to draft a running back this year. Giovanni Bernard, who we will see, as Dalton throws. And he's got Eifert again. And the rookie from Notre Dame, the tight end who won the Mackey Award last year. is the best in college football at tight end. Picks up 16 on his second catch. Eifert made a nice block on the play before. This is a good play call by Jay Gruden. Obvious running situation. Go with the pass. Andy Dalton pretty good on the run, throwing the football, no doubt. They love these misdirection passes. Fake one way, roll the other, get the receiver, tight end coming across the field. Got to give the quarterbacks some easy throws, especially early, Jim. Yeah. We said we would see Bernard, rookie running back, he's in for his first snap. And he back has the catch. And he's tackled by the linebacking core that includes D.J. Williams taking over for, of course, the position for 13 years that belonged to Brian Erlacher. Williams coming over as a free agent by way of Denver. Williams missed the entire preseason, did not see a single snap out with a calf injury. 
steps right into the starting lineup today. Right. Opening day, energy. You haven't played a full game, anybody. It's about conditioning. Third. On second and two, in the round. And it's Marvin Jones. And he's toppled near the 50 by Major Wright and Charles Tillman. And that's a 13-yard pickup and a first. Well, we've seen a couple bootlegs, a reverse, trying to slow the defense down. And remember, this drive began at the three. And Bernard is the running back for his first carry. The second rounder out of North Carolina picks up six. Andy Dalton, his first two years in the league, 47 touchdown passes, all kinds of scrutiny. Just comes with the position, but you you look at the only two quarterbacks their first two years who had more touchdown passes than Andy, Dan Marino, and Peyton Manning. Good list to be on, of course, Jim. We're going to have a few other second-year quarterbacks this year if they stay healthy. Probably get on that list, but. Wonderful success for Dalton in his first two years. First snap in Bears territory. Oh! Yeah, Cincinnati goes long for Green. And he has the grab at the five and tumbles to the two. Out wrestled Tillman for that catch. That's what he does. Tillman is all over it. It's going to be a little shaky. Goes down the sideline. But A.J. Green switches position. Comes inside and catches it with one hand. Really catches that just with his right arm. But it that's what you do when you have a receiver that's six foot five and can really run, you give him a chance. Because again, even though he's covered, his chances of catching in football are about 50%. Picks up 42. They spot it back at the four to Green Ellis. And he gets about halfway home. In the arms of James Anderson. Cincinnati trying to finish off what would be a 97-yard drive. Beautiful drive, and you got to give Jay Gruden a lot of credit. The play calling has really kept the Bears' defense off balance. They got out flanked three times in the drive, and of course, the other one always give your superstar, and that's what A.J. Green is going to be if he's not already. Give him a chance to make a play. Three tight ends on the field. Eichel, one of them, split to the right, Green to the left. Green Ellis in the backfield. They're going to go A.J.'s way. And it's over his head. A little hand fighting down here. Nice job by Tillman. You, you saw that he got his right arm and extended it and hit A.J. Green. And that throws the timing off just enough where Green cannot find the football. Now it's third and goal. Sanu and Green to the left. Running back behind so they give the defense the appearance that it could be a run. Now Green shifted to the right side, which is also posted by two tight ends on the right. And Dalton fires. Wide open touchdown, A.J. Green. How good was that? You're down here. You're expecting a throw to the tall receiver in the back of the end zone. Nice little fake. Oh, it's a fake inside. Uses the arms. That could have been called when you extend your arms and put them on a defensive player. But good aggressive play. The victory goes to the most physical guy, and that time it was A.J. Green. Well, A.J. Green finishes it off, set it up with a 42-yard catch. Nice change up. A lot of teams don't throw that outside quick route to the receivers enough down on the goal line. Huber on the hold. Clark Harris snaps it back, and the game is tied at seven. That's the longest touchdown drive for the Bengals since the 2011 season. And they tie the game at seven. Hey, baby, hey, let's go out there like a bunch of crazy dogs. That's a lot. I think that he's the best player in the league. Wow, well, I wouldn't say wow. Well. You got to come in, okay? The troubles continue for Lawrence Taylor. The crime is not being knocked down. The crime is not getting up again. The Life and Times, the story of Lawrence Taylor, premieres Friday, September 20th on Showtime at 8 p.m. An amazing documentary on the trials and tribulations of LT. Well, you know, I'll say this, Jim. 
He's had some troubles, great teammate. Every time we scored in the giant offense, Lawrence was always the first guy on the field. And I don't know if he was just shocked that we scored, but you know, he was into the game and he, he was a tremendous team. Great to see that documentary. Again, premieres in September 20th. And again, no chance for a return for Hester. As Cutler and the Bears come back out, tied at seven. How about his throwing motion? Yeah, let's, well, this looked in the past. Here's the things I love what he does. One is arm angle. He keeps it. I call that the J. His left foot is left of the target. He's racing against his right leg. So now, Jim, he's got power built up. And watch him on court. Wow. He can just let it go. There is no doubt today, watch me. He's very balanced. He's holding the football a little higher. And Mark Trestman is hoping those little tidbits is going to change his throwing a lot. On first down, he's going to go with Cortez. He was met right at the line for no gain by Carlos Dunlap. You know, Cutler was talking about how they hit the ground running every morning at 6.30. Trestman is in every meeting with the quarterbacks. Yeah, I like it. I, I said, everyone? And he goes, yes. All through the day, every day, Mark Trestman, Matt Cavanaugh, the quarterback coach, and the quarterbacks are in there meeting, going over everything. And we talked about it. Jake Cutler now has to ID the linebacker who they're going to block, what pass protection, change plays. He's in charge of the two-minute offense, so it's a new territory. Hey, hey, ten. Second and ten, and the toss. Okay, again. Beautifully played there by Mal Luga. Holds him to a just a yard. Cincinnati defense that came alive the second half of the season last year as they went 7-1 and one over the last eight games to make it to the playoffs. So, well, James Harrison, number 92, was used to see them in a Steeler uniform. Yep. Great against the run, and all the linebackers, what do you do? You learn from a player that's had success and knows how to work out, prepare, all that stuff. And kind of boosted the morale of the linebackers on the Bengals. No question, they're in all. Third down and nine. And he's got a first down with Marshall. Stepping right in front of the nickel, Adam Jones. Simple play that time. Matt Forte comes out. If he's covered, throw it behind him. And that's a big target. Jake Cutler has three big targets. Gets that front shoulder in there. Just another tight spiral. And the fact that, you know, Jim, that it spins so hard and it's a spiral, it really makes it a lot easier for receivers to catch the football in the crowd. Marshall's converted on third and 17 and third and nine in this game. He spins it as much as anybody in the league does it. No, no doubt about it. Here in this weather, the wind, he doesn't care. It, it, it doesn't matter to him. That's what you want. First and 10, and again, fires it into Marshall. He dives for the catch at the 40, right in front of Leon Hall. It's, it it kind of comes to this. We had some laughs with Mark Tressman because there is a fine line when you talk about a quarterback with a strong arm. But when he looks at people, are they ever covered? He can fire it in there. That's going to close out the first quarter. 7-7 after one. And you're watching the NFL on CBS. Bill Sims, back here in Chicago, Lance Barrow, Mike Arnold, producing and directing. Good to be back with all of you. Our first game since Super Bowl 47 in New Orleans. Second down and four. And it's again to Forte for the first down. Picks up five. Well, he loves this offense. You talked about it, Jim. He, Charlie Garner, what a success he had. But it's a zone scheme and what I mean by that the line just kind of comes off in unison and it's up to the running back to pick the hole so you can be patient when it comes to your instincts Matt Forte of course has great instincts well he talked about Trestman coming in here and he described it as being now mentally stimulated by all these new schemes yeah he's got to be a receiver he's caught one ball so far in this one for 10 yards he, he told us what he has to learn every receiver position Run it with him again. He's got contact at the line of scrimmage. With Brandon Thompson coming up. Forte in his sixth year. His first five years, over 5,000 yards, over, well, almost 7,600 total yards. You 
said it. He's excited about the fact that he might get to catch more footballs this year. And also, Thompson, 98, the Bengals, defensive lineman, second year. Big and good. Out of Clemson. He made that stop for no gain, so it's second down to 10. Almost able to wriggle free for a first down, but he's about two yards short. Gain of eight. Look at these receivers for the Chicago Bears. Brandon Marshall, Alshon Jeffrey. Both of them big, strong, can rip the football out of the air. You love that in this league because there's so many contested throws now. Third and two. Last Forte to pick up the first, and he's got no shot at it. Cincinnati closing in a hurry with Leon Hall. Yeah, it was one level too far outside. If he could have cut it up a little before, it would have been great. But there's James Harrison knocks the blockers back in the backfield, and Forte loses his footing just a little, but it was James Harrison that let Leon Hall come up there and make the tackle. He really did. Harrison blowing up Bushrod and Marshall. So Adam Codlish punts, trying to down another one near the goal line. And that's going to be a touchback. With Zach Bowman trying to run it down, but didn't get there in time. Just a net of 29 as they stop Forte and the Bears. So, Cincinnati. Just a little better than the average drive start. It's going to be at the 20 off the touchback. Green's going to move over to the left side. He helped take them down the field 97 yards the last time. And there he is up on the slant. And the ball comes out. But it's kicked out of bounds by the Bears. It was stripped by Jennings. And then I think it hit his foot and went out of bounds. It'll stay with Cincinnati. You're right. First off, they bring him across the formation. And they get him wide. It spread, it spread the defense. So it created a hole for Andy Dalton, who just ripped it in there again. So Andy Dalton showing some confidence and letting that football go. Jennings stripped it, was unaware. He had knocked the ball loose, was still making a play on Green, and he kicked it out of bounds. And it comes back to where he fumbled it. Which is near the 39. And a first down. With Green on us. And a wiggle. And a power ahead for about four. Jennings, a pro bowler a year ago, at nine picks, trying to create another takeaway. They are awesome at stripping this Bears defense. When you talk about defenses, Jim, it's always these rankings. To me, by far, the number one component to a really good defense is turnovers. Hit people when they're not expecting it. Again, they led the league in that department last year. Second down and six. Open is Gresham. And he breaks two tackles. His first catch goes for about five, maybe six near the first. Simple play. Everybody in the NFL runs it. The old Roger Craig. Throw it to him going right. Jay Gruden, a West Coast guy, I guess you would say, but throwing it to Jermaine Gresham. And Marvin Lewis said he's more focused. Get it done in Briggs. Well, you just can't. It's Gresham now. He's a big tight end. You've got to wrap your arms around them. Well, Briggs came flying in there, didn't he? But you talk about these tight ends of the Bengals. You've got Gresham. They drafted Tyler Eifert, who has got some kind of talent. Marvin Lewis said to Gresham, just do your job. Everything will be fine. And it is so far, so good. Got about an inch to go. Third down coming up this is where you know, last year they were so successful with Ben Jarvis Green Ellis he was best in the league on third and one conversions but he trots to the sideline on this occasion and they bring in Giovanni Bernard well even though Giovanni Bernard is not what I would call big NFL running back he is built Stocky and his speed can allow him to plow it up in there. And you see this formation like this, you think quarterback sneak. And it's there. Dalton sees it. He drives ahead for the first. 
So the formation gave it away. And if they're not going to put three defensive linemen right there in the middle, run the, run the quarterback sneak. Look at this. You would want them right here like this. Since you have that gap that's free, just take it. Double team the right side. Bowling, good job going, protecting Andy Dalton. He picks up an easy first down. Dalton with that shaky start, including a pick that led to a touchdown, has now hit on six of his last seven, including a touchdown throw. I tell you, just good balance, really mixing it up, giving the quarterback lots of chances. That ball, never a clean exchange. You know, you always hear the term quarterback friendly. What that means is this. Call plays, keep the defense off balance, and let your quarterback have some easy throws. You know, don't always expect them to go back on third and ten and go, well, throw it past the first down marker. Not that easy. Jake Rudin, so far, he's really in sync with the Bears' defense, and he's definitely keeping his quarterback in rhythm. His quarterback hoping to do something that has never happened in franchise history. They've never gone to the postseason three consecutive years in their 45-year existence. The sharp on that throw to Mohamed Sanu. In fact, they haven't won a playoff game, talking about the Bengals, in the last 22 seasons since they last won in the postseason. Detroit has been 21 years, and then you got the Chiefs with 19 consecutive seasons without a playoff win. Well, Marvin Lewis said the team is focused. Last year we expected to win that playoff game. We had no doubt, and that just drives them more for this year. Second and nine. Once again, it's Sanu. He's an impressive-looking young player out of Rutgers in his second year with big expectations in the breakout season possible for Mohamed Sanu. Picks he, up eight. He rounds out the receiving core. They got A.J. Green. They got good tight ends. And Mohamed Sanu can make the tough catches and get tough yards in the quarterbacks. Andy Dalton, he trusts him. Third and one, and here they go with Green Ellis. And again, the absolute master at conversions. 14 out of 15 times last year converting on third and one, and he does it here for the first time this year. Little simple thing, I love this. They fake left, he runs right. Watch Andy Dalton. That's all you need is an edge. Nice cut back inside. He saw it, and really good blocking by well, the offensive line. Two hands on the ball, but you look at Zeitler, Kyle Cook. Offensive line. We haven't said anything about Anthony Collins taking over for Whitworth at left tackle. 96, 96. Whitworth out with a knee. And first down, Dalton. Dr. Green, and it's intercepted. And that will go against Dalton, but it should have been caught by Green. Tillman again, he's got two picks, running it out past the 40. Still on his feet inside the 50. And Charles Tillman with the interception off the rebound is tackled by Eifert and a 39-yard return. Should have been a catch. Instead, it's a pick. Two for Tillman. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The Home Depot. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. And by DirecTV. If you call yourself a sports fan, you've got to get DirecTV. Officially a 41-yard return by Tillman. And it should have been Cincinnati set up with a first down deep in Chicago territory. You saw A.J. Green took his eyes off the football at the last second. That's what causes the interception. The Bears were in a defense where if it's tipped in the middle, they are going to intercept it. The middle linebackers there, both safeties are there, and Tillman. So Andy Dalton, nobody's going to care, Jim. You know how it is tomorrow. It's two interceptions no matter what. And I, right now, neither one was his fault. So, the Bears start with a short field. At the 42. And Jose hops down to about the 39. And a gain of three. Well, the hottest hit of the summer. Under the Dome has two episodes remaining. Don't miss a minute of this hot show tomorrow at 10, 9 Central, only CBS. And the Bears are going to hurry up. Second and seven. 
We'll take. Just a very small opening there. Gains only one. Keep him honest on the defensive side. And Mark Trussman, I thought they might take a shot that first play. But he's just trying to make it where he's not putting too much pressure on the offensive line. Third here in six or seven. They got a chance. Jay Cutler could get rid of the football quicker. Third and six. Not giving the Bengals defense much time to set. More sub. Hurry up offense. Doesn't hurt this defense because they have so many reserves. Forte, who would have been in all likelihood stopped right there on the spot short of the first anyway, but it might have been enough to be in field goal range. Instead, now they'll have to go with Podlish. Well, I, I think it would have been in field goal range. Once again, it's the old saying, took his eyes off of it, worried about who's going to hit him, trying to pick up extra yards, and you run the field. The wind is blowing behind the back of the Chicago Bears. Yes, it would have been favorable. He felt the presence James Harrison. Well, you were down there kicking. You were kicking a long way. Just trying to see if I still got it. And that generates a fair catch at the nine. So Andy Dalton will come back out after a second pick goes against him. Tied at seven. And the Bengals now with their fifth possession coming up. A punt, two picks, and a 97-yard touchdown drive. But for the second time, Adam Podlish has pinned him inside the 10. It's Greenhouse. And he's able to get him a little more room out to about the 12, a gain of three. Well, Jim, you grow up wanting to be a running back in the NFL. My answer would be to you and I. Are we answered that? No. Too much punishment, but Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, you've talked about it. Excellent inside runner, protects the football. Second and seven, and they give it to Sanu. As he was cutting in front of the quarterback, and the Bears were there to stop it for a loss. Now that was a pass, believe it or not. When you throw it forward like this, boy, I wish I'd have had about 50 of those in my career. Okay, I can hit those. Yeah. Helps the percentage, doesn't it? It does. Not, not uh, average uh, yards per reception, though. As that one sets him back for a loss of three. Hard to go sideways in this league. Yeah, the players are so fast, they recognize when you go sideways like that, they're going to make a lot of tackles for loss. It's third and ten. Bears defense wants to come up with the play. Dalton near the goal line. Fires it outside. That time it's caught by Green. With two players around them. Right between Major Wright and Zach Bowman. And that's good for 21 and a first. Watch how they come down the field out here. Watch the corner. you got two people out there, low and high. And A.J. Green sells it inside. They know it's coming, but it's such a perfect throw by Andy Dalton. And an aggressive throw, too. That was tight, but he put it right in there perfectly. Bernard in at running back. And we'll give it to the rookie. Quick first up ahead. And a gain of seven for Gio Bernard. Well, so much uh, talked about with Andy Dalton, Jim, and we kind of talk. People want to see him make dynamic throws. I love this one. He's under pressure. Braces his back leg, turns back, and look at the extension with his arms. His shoulders at the perfect level, and he just smokes it in there for a touchdown. And I think so far today, he's been aggressive with the throws, too. Bernard again. He's a yard short of a first third and one. You know, we brought it up. I said to Andy Dalton, I know there's a lot of talk about you, and it's just the way it is, and I love it. I'm ready to shut them up. Yes. Yeah, it was great. And look, those numbers, they're misleading. Should be better than that. But, again, very accurate with the, with the football today. Decisive with his decisions and just letting it go. No Tillman out there in the secondary for the Bears. He has the two picks, third and one. Gresham. And he's able to battle for the first. Ball did come out, they rule him down. So never mind the pickup by Wooten. As Gresham has got a first down at the 41. They've converted their last five third down attempts.
Carl Tillman's out of the game at the moment, but the two picks. This one was ruled down, but it eventually led to the touchdown. They weren't able to gain any points, even off of the 41-yard the 41-yard run back by Tillman. They what, Gene Green was going through that list of plays fast over there. Isaiah Fry is in the secondary for Tillman. First and 10, and there's Eichert. He's tough to bring down, and he's got a first down on the Chicago side of the field. There's these players on the Bengals. They line up everywhere. Tight end split out. You've seen A.J. Green inside. The running backs are in the slot. Another good throw by Andy Dalton. Good decision. Get rid of it quick. So it's hard to match up because you don't know where the guy you're going to cover at is going to line up. One first down from the pocket. A fake and then throws. He's got it at the 15. And Green is in for another touchdown. He beats Tim Jennings. 45 yards and a Bengal touchdown in the lead. Quarterback made it all happen that time. Of course, the talent of A.J. Green. They're in a safe defense to stop the big play. But watch the fake. The little pump fake by Andy Dalton. And then the perfect trajectory we've heard that a lot but right on the pads of AJ Green well that was beautiful they got the coverage they wanted and Andy Dalton with that little pump fake opened up AJ Green to the outside his fifth catch for 129 yards and two touchdowns hmm. get it to the big guy that's what they're doing it works. Well, they had a 97-yard touchdown drive. This one's a 91-yard drive, both ending with A.J. Green in the end zone. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Bose, the official home audio sponsor of the NFL. And by the U.S. Postal Service. Schedule your free package pickup today. Well, A.J. Green, yeah. he is an incredible talent. Yes, he dropped one that led to an interception, but he's caught two for scores. You know what? I could, I, if he was my receiver, I, I could put up with a couple of drops. Yes, <laughs> yes. Based because, on a couple of the catches we've oh, seen. Oh, because, listen, all we heard from the Bears, what, what's, the, what's the plan on defense? Eight, uh, number 18, yep. 18, 18. So if that's their only thought, and he's still catching them, good game plan. I want to tell you, that puck's fake by Andy Dalton. Really made the difference on that one as Hester's coming out with it. And David Hester is met near the 30. And well, Jennings is a pro bowler at corner, but he got beat that time. Well, he got caught. Watch Major Wright when there's a pump fake by Andy Dalton. Tight end down the middle. A.J. Green down the sideline. As you look, watch the pump fake. Watch the safety. Oh, he comes inside. Now, a lot of defenses... Let's just watch Andy Dalton here. Nice pump fake. And boy, he lets it, he relaxes. He's got a really flexible arm, which is going to help him throw the football for a long time in this league. But great touch on the ball. Michael Bush in the backfield for the first time. Too low with that one intended for Marshall. 2.43 to go in the half, and the Bears have only one time out. With all eyes on Syria. Charlie Rose sits down with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad for an exclusive interview tomorrow morning only on CBS This Morning. That was basically a throwaway by Jay Cutler because if he'd have thrown it at the receiver, it could have been trouble. Second attempt. But he's doubled up. Perfect is there. Maoluga as well, who's a little slow to get up, holds him to a gain of three. Maoluga is going to limp to the sideline. Harrison is over there with his helmet off. So they've got Demanche out there, Vincent Ray along with Montez Burpick. So we near the two-minute warning. His leg got caught underneath Jeffrey. And we've got the two-minute warning in Chicago. 
Coming up, Verizon Halftime Report, J.B., Dan, Shannon, Boomer, Coach Power, all the latest scores and highlights, and a preview of the U.S. Open Women's Final, Azarenka and Serena Williams, all coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. It's a third and good seven night, here. Night, this is the blitz you worry about. Two linebackers or one is Mays up by the center, one blitzes. Wow. Ball batted in the air. That is Dunlap who has made some plays. And here's another guy that did not have a single snap of action in the preseason, sitting down because of concussion symptoms. Boy, what a presence he's made in this game. As Marvin Lewis said, fresh legs. On the right side, we got Kyle Long. That's a nice job by him. And then you see Jordan Mills. So they're in position. Jay Cutler moved because of the blitz. Didn't have to. And it allowed... Dunlap to get free and knock it up in the air. That's the fourth time the Bears have failed to pick up a first down on a drive. Knowing that Adam Jones is back there and dangerous, but he shines away from it at the last moment. And it'll be down at the 11. It'll be a 55-yard punt for Potlish. Bowman downing it at the 11. Well, he's seen a 97 and a 91-yard touchdown drive by the Bengals so they like starting back deep in their own territory well, and they will once again the Bears knew that so they kicked it outside the 10 yard line this time yeah there you go yeah but yeah the, you know one Andy Dalton is off to a wonderful start here so far today Jim 13 to 17 192 but they're spreading the football around really hard to guess what play is coming Tillman is back on the field at the top of the screen and he's on green we're we'll running to Green Ellis. And there's Briggs in on the play. Along with Paya. Lance Briggs, seven-time Pro Bowler and defensive captain, along with Julius Peppers. Good read. One thing about Lance Briggs, he was so happy. Mel Tucker, new defensive coordinator, new coach. They did not change the defense. So, same terminology, really the same defense, and they can still make it work. Been a quiet half, though, for Julius Peppers, his co-captain on defense. Hey, CJ, CJ. Second and 14. <laughs> Dalton. And that's Briggs in on that one, preventing the completion. I would have run it. Get the time of the... J.B. Dan and Coach Power, Shannon Boomer, are all getting set to bring you all the highlights of the Verizon Halftime Report. Well, as you look at the guys, everybody had a good offseason. Even Boomer Esaias is in shape, so we'll see how long that lasts. Will it last through the season? Oh. JB, nice and trim, three-piece suit. Third and 14, 56 seconds to go. I would have said I would have run it the last play, Jim, to make the Bears use the timeout and work the clock. But Cincinnati being aggressive. They go draw with Bernard. He's tackled with the 15, and the Bears, again, with one timeout, they take it here. See, the run last time would have taken at least, but it would have ended the first half. So you've got to really be careful about play calls sometimes. I was getting ready to say, the Bears, I'm not going to, they didn't waste two timeouts. In the first half, you use them. In the second half, you guard them like they're gold. You saw him working on A.J. Green's left hand. Shaking up a little bit on that second down throw where Briggs stepped in front of him and defended it. Devin Hester is on the field and will be looking to field this around his own 40. Well, Marvin Lewis, he talked about it. Situations, it's not the second half, but if you get a lead, you have to be careful. Into the win, I would kick this out of bounds. Huber. what he did but he got no distance with it and the flag comes out it comes out off that little skirmish mm. a punt had gone out of bounds near the 50 Reggie Nelson was in the middle of that uh, whole log jam talking a little bit maybe too much
Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness, number 27 of the kicking team for shoving a player who was out of bounds. A 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. First down, Chicago. Going against Drake Kirkpatrick. He had a dreadful performance in the preseason down in Dallas. He got pushed in the back there by Weems and then responded well, and he, got called for it. The retaliation, he was blocked in the back, but you heard the call. Out of bounds, can't push the player, he did it. That's the third special teams penalty against Cincinnati with 42 seconds to go and no timeouts in the half. The Bears are set up at the Cincinnati 44. use up a lot of time for only four yards perfect was there to bring him down you only need a few more yards really to get a good field goal attempt because who your kicker is and the wind and the clock now stopped at 23 seconds the longest made field goal by Robbie Gold at home in his career is 54 yards we're talking about 58 or so from this point right here. He has made his last 10 attempts from 50 and beyond. Field goal team, if this ball's in bounds, if it's completed in bounds, they better hustle. Yeah, you better be ready there. to go. I don't see anybody ready. Third and six. Covered, sideline. And Leon Hall was in front of Marshall in good position. That was pressure from Perfect on Cutler. Well, it's pressure, and the other thing is, I do not see anybody open down the field. Boy, good job by Jay Cutler getting those feet off the ground. Montez Perfect, he is, we call him the finisher for a reason. He is a tackling machine. They're going to go with Gold. His career long was in the rarefied era of Denver, 57 yards. Again, the longest ever at home, 54. This will be 58 for a career mark. And again, he's got some favorable wind at his back. Douglas, good job getting it down, and the kick by Gold is good from 58. With room to spare. Good decision. If he didn't make it, it would have put the Bengals in position. Yes, they could have made a play. They had a timeout, but they would have been kicking into the wind. So it was a good risk by Mark Tressler. Look at Podlish doing a good job, too. This whole group of special teamers, Manley, Podlish, and Gold, they've been together a long time. They're best buddies. And they know how to work together. Well, he kicked it so easy, and it just went way through. I thought maybe he'd get it over the top by a yard or two. Career long for Robbie Gold. That'll keep the fans happy because they were starting to rumble a little because the Bears not able to get the football down the field throwing it. Boy, did you see how much that cleared it by? From that angle, it looked like it could have been good from 65. Hit the net. Pretty exciting first half. Absolutely. And Kirkpatrick and uh, his retaliation move put the Bears down there in field goal range. That penalty cost them. And he caught 58 yards field goal range. And again, a touchback with 11 seconds to go in the half. Well, you look at this first half. The Bengals, we know their defense is good. The offense is shown against a good defense that they can make big plays. That's what everybody talks about, and they did it in the first half of the opening game of the season. And for the Bears, you got to look at it this way. They're feeling their way around a little bit. Mark Trestman worried about blocking the defense in front, and rightly so. So I think they've managed the football game pretty well, too. Cincinnati's going to take a knee here, and they did defer. They will be receiving the second half kickoff, the Bengals. That's the end of the first half here in Chicago with the score, Cincinnati 14, 
and Chicago 10. We'll be back with the Verizon Halftime Report after this message and a word from your local station. Start the second half. Cincinnati will be receiving the second half kick with the 14 to 10 lead. Let's take a look at the Direct TV Ultimate Picture Cam, and it's Dalton with his second touchdown of that first half. Both of them going to AJ Green. Green with five catches, over 100 yards total, two touchdowns. And by the way, the two touchdown drives over 90 yards. The last time that happened for Cincinnati, the quarterback was Boomer Esiason back in 1991. Two touchdown drives over 90 yards in the same game. I'm just not surprised. You know, yeah. the man can throw it. There's he no could. doubt about it. Yeah. And what are you looking for here in the second half? Well, here's the thing. The, the Chicago Bears got to be happy at 14-10. to 10. They got two turnovers, which helped them out a great deal. But they have to get the football down the field. They need some big plays on the offensive side, so they got to find ways to get Brandon Marshall or somebody down there to get those big plays against a very good Bengals defense. Trestman and the Bears scored first, coming off a interception, the first of two by Charles Tillman. Led to a circus catch touchdown by Martellus Bennett. Did, did I catch you off guard when I said something nice about Boomer? Yeah, I did. Didn't mean, yeah, okay. twice now you've done it. You've yeah. called him trim. You're not surprised because he could throw it, and he really could. Yes, he could. Over 27,000 career yards. And there's A.J. Green. What a star he was in that first half. Sure was. It just, it, you can see it. I always tell people this. You can watch it on TV. You can watch it on film. But when you see some of these players in person, you, you can see that they have a chance to be something special, and that's A.J. Green. Just makes it look easy, graceful, so fast and a huge target to throw to. And by the way, just to add on to Robbie Gold's great kick, the 58-yarder before halftime, that's a Bears record, and that's a Soldier Field record. Tate will take a knee. And the first half summary, Cutler through for 70 yards, and a touchdown, but there's Dalton, 192. Say this about Andy Dalton just getting a, ch getting a chance to talk to him last night and you know in good spirits but talking to Marvin Lewis about Andy Dalton he just says look his third year everybody has handed the leadership mantle to him in other words he is the guy he's control of the team be the leader which I think he has taken over and he wants Andy Dalton just to keep pushing all the players to strive to do better so that's what you want your quarterback to do Green Ellis and a nice pickup, probably their best run of the game to this point. And they had one reversed by Jones that went for 14. That one's though for 10 for Green Ellis. And look at the comparison between these two quarterbacks, regarded by most to be two of the top five in the league, especially when it comes to fantasy football. Both yeah. with five catches. They may want to. Work on that one game a little bit more in the second half. Marvin telling us last night, Coach Lewis, how important that is to him this season. Nice catch. Russia. Look how hard he works for a first down. This league, we've seen it. The Patriots kind of started the trend. Everybody wants the two tight end formations. Watch 84 going up the field. He's just big, got long arms, so you can throw away from the defender. Now you got Eifert. We talked about it. Gresham looked like he looks like he's up for the challenge, and so many things you can do with the two tight end situations. You get the throw against linebackers. That's about as good a matchup as you're going to get on an NFL field. Dalton's over 200. Coach Lewis said that Eifert's arrival has made Gresham better. Gresham coming off of back-to-back -back Pro Bowl appearances. Oh, and the pancake Green Ellis as it's Paya to meet him head on. For a loss of a yard. Well, the Bengals like to run inside. They have a better, the veterans, they're tough. Bowling at left guard, Kyle Cook, Kevin Zeitler, the second year first round draft pick. So running up inside is something they want to do, and that's what Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, probably a better inside than outside runner. And there you see Collins. Got a good first half, subbing for Whitworth, who's inactive with the knee. 
sidearm toss by Dalton. Well, and Green Ellis has a pickup of about four. Awesome protection for Andy Dalton. Uh, is his uniform dirty yet? It might be because he ran the football. I don't think he's even dirty. So this is a grass field, and it's a that is a white uniform they got on there too. So you said it. Collins at left tackle. They are pass blocking extremely well. Third down and eight. Stack two receivers to the right. Sanu slips into a slot. Dalton's looking right side. Pass progression. Can he fight for another first? Yes, he can. To the Chicago side at the 45 and a gain of 11. So many things. They're worried about the two outside receivers. Three defenders covering two. Nobody there for the tight end. And the strong, accurate throw. I know it was short, but you've got to stick it on them. And it allowed Gresham to turn up and beat the defenders to the first down. So, a lot of good stuff for the Bengals. They bring in Gio Bernard. Fake to him. Now they throw it to him. Flag down. This is probably coming back. And we'll wipe out the seven-yard pass play to Bernard. Holding number 71 offense. Ten-yard penalty. Remains first down. That's the right tackle, Andre Smith. It's not too late to sign up and play NFL.com Fantasy Football with the free mobile apps and exclusive instant highlights. Sign up and play for free. NFL.com slash fantasy. Penalty will bring them back to their own 45 and make it a first and 20. That's right, Andy Dalton. He doesn't have any dirt on those pants. Got a little, maybe spilled something on his jersey. Yeah. A cup of coffee at halftime. <laughs> They're going to drag back A.J. Green. Tillman wrestling with him. Holds him to a gain of three. You, you know, Jim, I'll say this. We, you look at the league, all the quarterbacks, so many guys having great success and putting up these numbers. And, and really, if you want to win the Super Bowl, you got to be dynamic on the offensive side now. You need the plays. And, and I know it's a half and a little more, but I can see a difference in this Bengals offense. They're trying more, more versatility and more talent out there, and it shows. Yeah. Second and 17. They throw it up, up. <laughs> That's Jones with Jennings dropping him out. Set up third and 11. Well, you talked about it's like a college team. You said that at the start about Cincinnati. It's like everybody's back. But they did add a couple of weapons with Bernard, Sanu. Maybe they'll get a whole season out of him this time because he was limited last year. And, of course, Eifert. Eifert, who missed the last couple weeks of preseason, but we've seen his impact already here today. A better offensive line with backups, which we're seeing in Anthony Collins playing left tackle. We'll call it third and ten. <laughs> Chicago looking for a stop. Diving catch. Beautiful catch thrown to the outside for Green and another first down. Good job by the offensive line and, and, and the offense picking up the blitz. Here he comes around. They stone it. It gives Andy Dalton time to throw it down the field. And nice adjustment by A.J. Green. One-on-one -on -one outside against Tillman. That's the fourth conversion for the Bengals. That was third and six or longer. That one was third and ten. Let's go! Willie! They have talked and complained a lot about their third down offense of last year. Been a strong play so far today. Now, they make a tackle behind the line on first down. Green Elvis is pushed back three yards. That was Stephen Paya. And again, the Bears going into the season after 13 years of Brian Urlacher. And there's D.J. Williams, who came over as a free agent from Denver but missed all the preseason. How about Urlacher's retirement? Well, it really it just caught up to him. Such a big physical player. Your, your body can only take so many hits. So last year we saw that he couldn't finish the year. And good for him. He's going to the Hall of Fame. Yep. No doubt. And that's Bernard not able to hold on. 
Of course, they did not elect to re-sign him, and then Erlacher looked around the league and just decided, you know what, it's that time. I'm going to finish my career with the only playing for the Bears, and that middle linebacker legacy from, from George to Butkus to Singletary. And now joining him in the Hall of Fame, you feel certain one yeah. day will be Brian Urlacher. Just so big, so rangy, fast, could do everything on the field. Could blitz, could cover, stop the run. Third and 13, and down the field they go, and a flag comes out. Tillman's going to be flagged for interference. Green looked like he was positioned to make another touchdown grab. Pass interference, number 33, defense, automatic, first down. They were not ready on the defensive side. Andy Dalton gets the quick step, and, and i got to admire this. Right away, he sees there's not double coverage to the outside, so he lofts it up one more time for A.J. Green and an easy call. Yeah, no question about that. 34-yard penalty gain, and first and goal at the one. Everybody in tight. We'll go three and Ellis. And we'll drop them back near the five. Tillman, after giving up the interference call, right. is in on that tackle for a loss of four. Forget the last play, move on. Number 33 gets up the field. Long assignments by the Bengals offensive blockers. Nobody blocks him, but the quick snap by Andy Dalton, that was going to be double coverage on A.J. Green. They couldn't get it accomplished because they weren't ready. They had the football for the first seven minutes of the half. And it's second and goal. Back to Green Ellis. Up the middle he goes, and he pounds it across for the touchdown. And give Jermaine Gresham some credit for a key block to spring him for the five yards and the score. Inside running, they're good at it. Good blocking on the left side that time. Bowling, Collins, and also, Jim, go back to when A.J. Green caught that little short touchdown throw. That time they put three defenders to cover two receivers. Not enough people there to stop the run. touchdown drive on the day set up by that interference call green ellis closes it out from five yards away 12 plays over seven minutes and green ellis has a touchdown on those three scoring drives dalton is 14 out of 16. <laughs> will come out to the 20. Cutler and company will touch it for the first time in the second half. But Dalton and the Bengals have put together three impressive touchdown drives. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. Chrysler, imported from Detroit. And by Bud Light, it's the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. Well, just a reminder, next Saturday, the Home Depot SEC on CBS, Alabama, Texas A&M. The defending national champ, two-time defending champs, Alabama, taking on Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Manziel. It was that matchup last year that really made it for him on his way to win the Heisman. All starts at 3 o'clock in the studio. And Mark Treskin, been away from the NFL for five years, coached up with Montreal, head coach of the Alouettes, went to three Grey Cup finals, winning two of them. Cutler swings it over. Alshon Jeffrey, and he carries all with him. Enough to pick up the first down, gain of 11. But up there in Canada, he had a, a quarterback who was 
one, one of the real stars in the history of Canadian football, Anthony Calvillo. Over. MVP of that league over and over again. He's thrown for, you know, like 80,000 yards. And he brought him down here to talk to uh, Jay Cutler. Sure, showed him the offense. It's yep. the same offense that he ran in Canada. They have 12 up there, of course, but he made it work. Forte. Uh, Jim, I'll just say this about Mark Trestman, a couple things. You know, one is how he's practicing with his football team. They go their starting offense against the starting defense, ones against ones, and the practices by NFL standards are much quicker, and, and, and I agree with what he's doing. It, it, it makes sense keeping the players fresher, giving them better looks because the competition is greater when you when you do it every day in practice like that. He kept talking about intensity over volume in practice. I mean, it's down to the minute how long they go. 78 minutes on Wednesday, for example. As Cutler has the One player right in his face. That's Dunlap again. And the pass incomplete. Well, just number 96, Carlos Dunlap, top of the screen. Oh, boy. Marvin Lewis even laughed and smiled. He goes, look, he knows what to do. He's got fresh legs because he missed the preseason. Beater on the ground running today. And he got right around Michael Bush. And it's third down coming. Third and seven from the 35. Southern L. Three down line. They like to do something different out of this look. Flings it, first down, and more. And that's Martellus Bennett hurdling over to the Bengals' 35-yard line. Wonderful job. Blitz is coming from the outside. He's not sure, so he steps into the lane that's vacated. Did he go past the line of scrimmage? I think he was just at the line of scrimmage when he let the football go. Gain of 30, and it's the first play of the day for the Bears. That was good for 20 plus. Well, they took advantage of the blitz. Timeout called by the Bengals. Coming out of a Cincinnati timeout by the Cincinnati defense. Bears having just gained 30 on the last play. Blitz down from the Bengals 35. Hey, slashes through for about six. That was a good word for it. That was a slashing run. Fit through the hole, kind of turned sideways and showed you that ability just to run full speed as he turns. But the Bengals on defense, be patient. Mike Zimmer, they haven't shown anything or ability to make plays down the field. The blitz opened up that running lane for Jay Cumber. Play line! Play tight man-to-man -man coverage here. Get on second and four. Bennett's slammed down right away by Adam Jones, but it's a first down for Chicago. Bennett's first catch. Cutler, his old Vanderbilt teammate, finds him. Another big receiver on the outside, and Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler's really, he's on the mark also here today. Of course, it's warm, summer day. Football grips pretty well on hot, humid days. That leather expands, and it's a much easier to throw it than it would be a cool, breezy day. Here we are. 50, 58, 58. Come on, come on. That's the hook up. Cut the wrong first down. Looks down the field. Has Jeffrey at the five. And he makes the catch right in front of Reggie Nelson. First and goal to go for Chicago. That's what you do. Your quarterback is trusting. Number 17 in the slot. Jay Cutler's going to throw it to his back shoulder so he doesn't lead him into trouble. Ray Maluga inside. So make him stop, come back and catch it. Nice job by Jeffrey. Jeffrey to the left. Marshall to the right. Bennett in the slot to the left. They go for Tay. Into the line. Churning, churning, and driving down to the one. That could have been stopped for no gain. That was all for Tay. 
not giving up on the play. He carried perfect with him. Well, they, all the defensive linemen were connected. They couldn't get off the blocks to stop it. Watch the right guard, Kyle Long, hits perfect, and they just keep pushing. That is, that looks like rugby. Those extra yards, those were huge for this Bears offense. Second and goal. Looks like a run. Forte is very deep. It is Forte, and he's in for the touchdown. Could have been a middle linebacker. You, you can see certain tails, the depth of the running back, how close he was to the quarterback. Of course, I could have never made the tackle, but it's kind of a giveaway. And when you're down there like that, you've got to see it. You've got to take that chance to try to stop a play from one yard out. Good drive by the Bears. Jake Cutler made it happen on the blitz. It's a flag out. 12 against the Bengals. Defense, 12 men in formation. That five-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. We'll try from the two-yard line. Darren Simmons, oh my gosh. Sprinting out there. Each team with an 80-yard drive to open up the second half. The point good by Gold. The previous long drive of the day has been 36 yards. 80 this time for the touchdown with Forte. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. And by Pizza Hut. Make it great. Back here at Soldier Field in the first half, the Bears managed five first downs. They had five on that last drive alone to match the Bengals' 80-yard touchdown drive to open the third. The extra five yards off the penalty. Gold still just goes ahead and knocks it through the back of the end zone. Dalton will be set up at his own 20 yet again with the lead at 21-17 possession of the day for Cincinnati. Eight of those nine have started at the 20 or worse. Still, they've driven it three times down the field impressively. And here they go on first down. With the pass play to Eifert in a gain of eight. We look at this game so far. The Bears taking advantage of their opportunities and you know, it's been rough especially for their offense but they finally got that drive together and they're hanging at one score behind. Eifert's fourth catch second and two nice wiggle by Bernard and he's got a first down but a flag is out holding number 80 offense 10 yard penalty repeat second down Takes away a 14-yard run by Bernard. Inside, there it was. That time it was Charles Orson. Tight end, moved the fullback to give him a little more flexibility at that position. Marvin Lewis upset because he knows that was a big first down. Get the crowd out of it. And now you have second and long. Jackson right there, the former Raider coach. Now the running back coach for the Bengals. Second down and 12. Pico, 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 Pico. Pico, Pico. <laughs> Bears close in in a hurry on Gresham. We've got another update. Let's go back to JB in the studio. Drew Brees is second of the day. Right here, 12 yards, I mean, excuse me, 8 yards to Jimmy Graham right in the flat after a play action fake. 
They take the lead on the Falcons, 20 to 17, middle of the third quarter. Competitive NFC South, Jim Nance. All right, guys, here we've got a third and six. Receivers tells you it's probably going to be a quick throw. There it is to Eifert, and the Bears will keep him short of the first. Really good job by the Bears playing the situation and the formation. The quarterback's not going to have a lot of time because there's no extra blockers to stop the pass rush. And Jennings comes right off of his guy and helps make the tackle. And D.J. Williams came over just at the end to make sure Eifert wasn't able to get free for that final yard or two. So it's Kevin Huber. With the punt toward the sideline. Keeping it away from Hester. Lead in the second half. Don't kick it to him. 46-yard punt. You know, not everyone can be a quarterback, so get inside the minds of those who can. Join Bill Sims, Rich Gannon, Steve Berline, and Adam Shine when NFL Monday QB returns at a special time tomorrow at 5 Eastern, only on CBS Sports Network, 24-hour home of CBS Sports. What would you have to say right now about these two today? Oh, excellent. They both have done a good job managing the game, but throwing the football. Nice snag by Jeffrey. Reached up and pulled it in with one hand. You know, we take it for granted now in this league, Jim. There's so many good quarterbacks who can really throw it, and guys like this. The, the receivers, we expect them to make every catch. How about that? One-handed, reach out, pull it in. It's good for five. Of course, the rules are helping them out, but they're taking Hurry advantage up. of it. Final 20 seconds of the quarter. That's Bertet with a flag coming in. Mm. Holding number 83 offense. 10-yard penalty, second down. Called on Martellus Bennett. Looking across the field, that was his job to look at number 83. And the Bears will probably wait and take the next snap with the win to start the fourth quarter. We're through three, 21-17 Bengals. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Bengals and Bears going to the fourth. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims as Tillman's getting looked at over on the sideline. They are digging into that hamstring. Of course, looks like a cramp. Hot day here. Playing a whole football game. Tough on these guys. Second and 15 to start the quarter. Rolling out. Cutler. Wanted to go deep now. Looks left side. And has Forte at the 44. Nice play. This is what they've been working on with Jay Cutler. Don't wait on the receivers. In other words, watch what happens. He's going to go to the right. There's nothing open. Get off of it. He does. He scrambles and then makes a nice throw down the field. Good decision by Matt Forte, who saw him coming and then took off. The defender has no chance because he's not going to be able to locate the football. Third catch for Forte. It's also rushed for a touchdown. Bush comes into the backfield for him. Hey, hey! Really good no throw again, though, by Jay Cutler. Right, 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 right. 9258, Larry. Larry, Larry. Timeout called. Blitz caught him. Timeout. Bears pick up a valuable first. Here early four. Down four. Well, we know Jay Cutler's got the talent. And so far today, if you just watch his body language, he's going across the field. 
He's engaging with all the players, engaging with the coaches, cheering guys on, and so he's buying in. That's what you need your quarterback to do, to drive other people, teammates, forward. First and ten. Right into the arms of perfect. No bear in sight. Right on cue as I say that about Jay Cutler. It looks like he was expecting Matt Forte. Let's watch the running back when he comes out. Oh, no, he's throwing across the middle. That was Michael Bush coming out of the backfield. There's no flag for a low block. First down, Cincinnati. When we pick up the flag, we've got a player down. And it is perfect. He made the pick. Not going to speculate on the injury, but he got hit right in the thigh. Many things that could happen. Hit hard like that, it can whiplash your knee, which is what the doctor is grabbing. This kid, what a story. It's his second year, undrafted last year, led the team in tackles. Comes up with interception here. Cloudy day here in the great city of Chicago. Perfect. Picking off Jay Cutler, and then helped to the bench. Injured on the return. Best starting drive position of the Bengals. And ball is wide, wide open. And it's Green. Able to shake free from Major Wright and others. Picks up 12. Beautiful play action fake that time. Had everybody kind of going in different directions. That was a play I've not seen the Bengals run. Andy Dalton makes a good decision, goes outside, gets the easy throw. We're good, we're good. Nice. We're good. Hey, Angle. Then Three tight ends for this snap. As Green Ellis takes it outside. And Major Wright is there to shut him down after two. What happened on that interception, Phil? You I think it's the pressure by Michael Johnson that comes around outside here and it makes Jay Cutler just throw it before he's ready. Out of the backfield's Michael Bush. Then he just flicks it. He just off target behind him. There's that arm of we haven't said Michael Johnson's name a lot, but boy, between him, Carlos Dunlap, that is two terrific outside rushers for, for a defense. I'll tell you who we also haven't mentioned on the defense of Chicago much, Julius Peppers. I uh, don't think he uh, haven't seen him get in a play. Caught him in a blitz. Ah! <laughs> There's Sanu. And the ball's out. Jennings tried to pick it up and run with it. I think he still recovered it. <laughs> Football belongs to Chicago. Well, Jennings did the right thing. There's the fumble. You're a small guy that... The rule is, little guys outside pick it up, fat guys in the middle of the field fall on it. So it's the blitz, they got the perfect call on. The helmet of Jennings just hits the football, Sanu on the catch and run. Oh boy, he just stuck his helmet right on the football, not much you can do. Then he was trying to make it a big, game-changing play, but just missed the pickup. Two turnovers, one by each side in the last 79 seconds. Vincent Ray is in it, linebacker for the Bengals for perfect. Hey, we go draw, we will go Forte. And hey, perfect's out there. Perfect makes the tackle. This week, don't miss the show that's in a league by itself. The guys who take a, well, a little analysis look at each of the 32 teams. James Brown, Bill Sims, Chris Collinsworth, all the artistry of NFL films. Oh, you are right. You said I look good in that promo, and I think you're right. I did look a little better than usual. Yeah. <laughs> you got good makeup day, huh? Yeah. I just wanted to hear your comment yeah. there. What? I never said you look good. Second down. Show. 
to believe Perfect would be out there just the very next defensive series. Well, we did say, I was hoping that was like a Charlie horse because he got a hit on the side of the leg. But that's where big receivers come in, Jim. It just gives a quarterback a lot of faith to throw it in there, throw it high. Of course, the receiver cannot be hit while he's in the air making those catches either anymore. Good strong throw by Cutler. And a third and two here, nearing 11 minutes to go. Sideline over Marshall. Has it. Marshall to the 35 with Terrence Newman finally dragging him down. Mm. Mm. That was beautiful, big time. Gain of 38. Great balance by Jay Cutler, follows through, and the ball is thrown hard, but it, it turns over quick because he has such good technique. So it's up in the air, drops right in there. Good job by Newman. Oh, look at Mills. How about that? How about the rookies on that right How side? Long. long and Mills. How long he grew into a man in one offseason. Trying to take advantage of the fumble by Sanu. Opening that time. Flag is out. Holding. Number 83, offense. 10 yard penalty. First down. I was just going to go back, though, to Kyle Long, number 75. I watched him in Oregon. Good athlete. You could see all that. Goes to the Senior Bowl last year. The Bears see him and go, my gosh. He dominated the competition down there. They drafted him in the first round. And to me, he looks 25, 30 pounds heavier than they did at Oregon. And he uses it well on the field, no doubt. And their first-round pick flanked by their fifth-round pick out of Louisiana Tech, Mills. And two rookies starting on the line. Week one for the Bears for the first time in 30 years, two rookies. And that's a big penalty. Takes off the nine-yard gain by Forte. It's called a Martellus Bennett. That could have been called. Jeffrey unable to pull it down. Let's get an update. James Brown in New York. Boomer as well. What do you have? Oakland with the go-ahead touchdown. Jimmy, I don't know about you, but if the UIV Oakland Raiders in your knockout pull, watch out. Here you go. Terrell Pryor already running for over 100 yards. Goes a touchdown to Denarius Moore right there. 17-14 over the Colts. 7-13 left in the fourth. Jim Nance, Phil Sims. Right you are, Boomer. No That's one right. saw that one coming. That's who I have, Boomer. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are not. I have him in the knockout pool. Second and 20. Step it up. Take it off. Wide open, 30, and slides near the 27. Where those feet first hit the ground, that's where you down. That was not a penalty. Vontez Burfick, number 55, it's close. But another good job. Three times he's moved today, two big passes and a big run. Really good job, Simpson. This is where Rich Gannon, when he ran this offense for Mark Tresman, was great at it. Nobody open, pull it down and run. Perfect is hurt again. That was an 18-yard gain. The longest run of the game for the Bears, and the fans were booing. They did not like the spot on the slide. Well, because when you slide feet, feet first, you're giving yourself up. So when you hit the ground, that's where it is. Here's the 30. Boom, he's down. So I'd say, the, you know, 29. Are inside that, so they got a good spot. I was going to say 28 and a half. Lee Cutler, quarterbacks are conditioned to look for a flag anytime they're hit. Talking to Gathers. I would think Marvin's upset because they let him out of the pocket. They've done a terrific job surrounding him and making him stand in there and throw it for most of the day. But here's what it too, Jim. Marvin Lewis is looking at it going, we physically have been the better team so far, and here we are looking at we could go behind. Third and two, 410. Through the pile, and where are they going to spot this one? He's reached out past the first down yardage, but... I thought he got to it. I did too. They pull it back short of that by more than a yard. 
from where I thought it might have been. I, I know one thing. I'd be looking at that board. I want to see a replay. And Mark Tressman can ask for a measurement because it is close. He can ask for a measurement to buy some time for the guys upstairs on the Bears staff to take a look at it and see if it's maybe merits a challenge. Not that I could see much in that replay, but it did. They do I'll pull back. ask for the measurement. It looked like a good spot as you see their replay. Hard to tell where he goes down, but... That's what you do. They always ask for the measurement. Okay, if he's short, what are you going to do here with well, 849 to go? That's why you ask for the measurement, so you have time to think. Oh, you go for it here. This is a no-brainer. 849 in my eyes, that short. Lots of options. They like to go up to the line of scrimmage with two plays. You could have a quarterback sneak if they give you the right defensive front, or you run it outside if they crowd the middle. Don't be afraid to run it outside. Well, here we go. You let the alignment of the defense, Jim, tell you what play you're going to run. First big decision of the Mark Tressman era. No, AB, AB. Oh, you got to go outside. Second charge timeout, Cincinnati. That's the second timeout they have used. Leaving them with one. Fourth down on the way after the break. Well, they're counting 10 people on the field. That's why the Bengals called a timeout. 180! Fourth and a foot. Outside. What a cut. Forte has the first down. Viametta helped him as fullback, but Forte made a great decision that time. Good job. Look at all the guys inside. They're going to make you run outside. Forte, you said it. Forte makes the right decision, and Viametta, the lead fullback, helps him get out there. Fourth and a foot, and Forte takes it eight yards mm -hmm. and inside the 20. And Perfect is back in. He's been banged up a couple of times. And Burfick calls timeout. That is it for the Bengals. They've used all their timeouts. Yeah, there I don't know why they called timeout. Was somebody hurt? Did somebody come off the field? Oh, boy, they had 12 on. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. They got 12 people out there. Once again, oh, it's a good thing hard knocks is still, that show's over because those coaches in the meeting room are going to be furious. Yeah. This is, you know, Jim, it's, it's the most embarrassing thing that can happen to a coach to not get your team organized enough to get them on the field. So Marvin Lewis and Mike Zimmer, they will be furious over it. Twice in the span of one play. arms underneath the gym as he's going to the ground really good job by Brandon Marshall look at that football boy it's his a knee help also bring it into his body mm. well done by Marshall and Cutler man was that a fastball it's called home run hitter guys that can just overpower the football and Jay Cutler's one of those quarterbacks that can off the Sanu fumble. And the Bears have their first lead since the first quarter. Coming back from 11 down. 14 unanswered for Chicago. 
And the Bears are in front with eight minutes to go. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. And by Subway. Any regular footlong is a $5 footlong at Subway. Hurry in this September. Subway, eat fresh. Marshall with the touchdown, 81 yards in eight plays. Mark Tresman said that Brandon Marshall had his best practice since he's been here on Friday. Here he goes to the game. Boy, next Sunday we'll have the national doubleheader, and it'll be Manning versus Manning for the third time. Peyton and Eli. Broncos and Giants to almost everybody in the nation in that 425 window. San Diego, Philadelphia headlines the early window. And Peyton coming off the phenomenal Thursday night Man, performance. That's just not right. It's not right. <laughs> Seven touchdowns. Of course, it all starts next Sunday with the NFL today at noon Eastern time. Dalton in trouble. And they've got him. Whistle was already stopping the play, but they've got a sack, and it's Haya, along with McClellan, teaming up on the sack. The coverage was there. That's what causes the sack. Watch Andy Dalton. He wants to throw it. They read the play, and they were going for the interception. Good no throw by Andy Dalton. First sack of the game for either side. They give it to McLevin, officially. Last year's first rounder out of Boise State. Here's the throw for just a short game. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Gets the five yards back with Green. And again, Cincinnati is out of timeouts. And alas, they cannot challenge anything because That's they funny. have no timeouts. Not only that, because of those no timeouts, you have to be at a little quicker pace to at least ensure yourself, if you need it, two possessions. Third down. They call it 10. Looks like they're going to blitz. And knocked down by Anderson. They played the play, they blitzed, it makes the Bengals throw it quick, and Anderson comes out and almost gets a game-winning interception. Really well done, Mel Tucker, the new defensive coordinator. When it's a big moment, you got to make the call, and he did it. Huber. Not going to be able to keep it away from Hester this time. One man on him right away, and he does not let go. Boy, is that a nice coverage tackle by Drake Kirkpatrick. Let's go to the update. All right, Jim, we've got a fantasy update for you. How about Adrian Peterson? He has three touchdowns on the day, two on the ground. He's got 88 yards on the ground, and this reception from Christian Ponder to close the gap between Detroit and Minnesota, 27-24. Whatever needs to be done, AP will go at it. Jim Nance and Phil Sims. Boy, that is a wild one. Minnesota will be coming here next week as the Bears open up with two home games, Vikings two road games. We'll see Minnesota a few weeks down the line over in London taking on Pittsburgh. Here's a first down handoff to Forte and unable to shake off Newman for a loss of a yard. That last drive by the Bears, 81 yards, eight plays. Marshall with the big catch. Move him onto the Cincinnati side of the field. They had a big fourth down conversion run. Eight yard pickup on fourth and a foot by Forte. And then Marshall with the touchdown. Well, this is the call. If you have something on that play sheet, Mark Tressman, that the Bengals defense hasn't seen, maybe catch them by surprise. Make it easy for your quarterback. This is where you call it. Newman at the 30. Terrence Newman, being in the league a lot of years, can still run. 
and he has been aggressive making tackles on the outside that was a good call though safe hope to pick up some easy yards or make it easy on your quarterback Terrence Newman Mike Zimmer is the king of reclamation projects with defensive backs Terrence Newman leaves Dallas comes here turns into turns into a good player once again of course Mike Zimmer was his coach down in Dallas third and eight Give their front four, Jim, a chance. And now a timeout called by the Bears. These timeouts today, both sides, been dreadful. Bears have one left. Five minutes, ten seconds to go. And Chicago with a third and eight. And a three-point lead. Bennett with the catch and the first. Low, away from the defender. Beautiful throw and a nice catch by Martellus Bennett. Good shuffle in the pocket. Drops the arm down, sidearm, because he had to. He's moving left. And watch the catch. Go down and catch it with your body. What a job. Bennett looking like quite a pickup. He's a free agent by way of the Giants. Jim, you take Bennett and the two wide receivers. It's got to be the tallest receiving in the NFL. And again, the Bengals can't stop the clock. That first down, we're the couple of minutes. Four more as Bush gets the carry. Well, I would think the Bears will probably run it or do something where they keep the clock going. And then on third down, we'll see the Bengals come after Jay Cutler. The difference right now, a 58-yard field goal, if you will, the three points. There you go. The franchise record, soldier field record by Robbie Gold. Managing the game. They did it well at the end of the first half. The Bengals didn't do a very good job at the end of the first half. They, did, they gave the Bears three free points. Where you at? Took it all the way down on the play clock. And there's Bush rumbling near another first, maybe just short. Well, you always have to think in situations like this, fatigue is a problem. And Bush, big, strong. And Ray Maluga not able to get him down with that first look. Third and a foot. And you start again. If you get a new set of downs, the only thing that can stop the clock is a two-minute warning. First down. Oh, good running. And now they'll run one play before the two-minute warning. Michael Bush, another running back who's in excellent shape this year. Oh boy, he's low and gets that little extra push. That's why you have him for to be a special or a situational runner. Of course, to give Matt Forte a rest when he needs it, but to pick up yards like we just saw. Bush to a fourth straight carry to the two-minute warning. 24-21, Bears. You're watching the NFL on CBS. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Frost Brewed Coors Light. The game's most refreshing beer. FedEx. FedEx does more than shipping. FedEx. Solutions that matter. And by CenturyLink. Your link to what's next. We're coming out of the two-minute warning, and again, the Bengals are out of timeouts. Second and eight. Bush falls to the 45. Let's look back at the game real quick. And it's not about second guessing. It's how you do it. The end of the first half, giving the Bears the chance to get the three. But Jim, the timeouts changes the whole complexion of the play calls by the Bears. 
on what the Bengals do here. And the Bears, Mark Trestman, his opening day, uh, his debut as a head coach, he has managed this game really perfect. He never panicked. I was getting antsy, like, make some plays. He stayed with his game plan. Jim Nance and Phil Sims, we walked into the audience, so saw the Colts beat the Raiders in a tank one. Third down and six here. And a flag comes in. As two bodies are tangled, it's Jordan Mills and Ray Maluga. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 58. Oh. That'll finish penalty. the game. Automatic. First down. They had just made a stop. Two of them today, they could. You're right. Lost in the game, or at least a chance. Taking the rookie. Oh, slamming him down. down. Yeah, and denying his team a chance to have one last handle of the football. And the personal foul they had, too, at the end of the first half. Cincinnati is going to see a game slip away in which it led by 11 in the third quarter. Had the ball in the fourth quarter with the lead, driving the score and fumbled. Eight penalties for the day against Cincinnati. A.J. Green's great effort is going to be wasted nine catches 162 yards and two touchdowns Sanu with a costly fumble well Jim what we saw Friday at practice a team that was organized the Chicago Bears Chris nobody talked to practice and they carried it out here to the game for today Cutler takes a knee Cutler who wanted to get ready for his coach Tressman by reading his book before he really started working with him. Trestman five years ago had written a book called Perseverance, Life Lessons on Leadership and Teamwork. Mm -hmm. And Trestman's going to become only the fourth Bear coach out of 14 in their 94-year history to win in his debut, joining George Hallis, Neil Armstrong, and Dick Jaron as the only ones to win their first game. Discipline is still big in the NFL. That's what won it for the Bears today. Tressman, a winner in his debut. And the Bears erase a double-digit second-half deficit for only the second time since 2009. Bobby Gold with a 58-yard field goal at the end of the first half. That was a huge moment. The final score, Chicago 24, Cincinnati 21. NFL Today studio is coming up after the break. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long. From Soldier Field, you've been watching the NFL on CBS.